Hello friends, Sniz here, and now that the gear and stat overview is done with, I figured I'd come back and talk about what my future plans and goals are for this character. As you can see from my gear, star forcing is basically done. It's to the point where I only really have cubing left, and you can argue flames are always, always an upgrade, but flaming is absolutely garbage. I did manage to 22 a piece of the pitch boss set uh, armors, which the, the, a relevant piece too, which was my berserk. I got this not too long ago, and as stated, I only would only go for 22 on it if I finished my arcane, which I managed to do. Uh, the only other really star forcing upgrade I could make that is, you know, quote unquote attainable or you know not super luck dependent or it's more farmable, I guess I should say, is the Kana Treasure Ring. I could 22 this, swap the potential to damage, and then swap the solid ring to drop, but. That's for the future. They did recently announce a DMT, but there's no cube sale along with it, so there's no real reason for me to like really rush and grind and save mess. So I'm just kind of leisurely going through the ropes, just doing. I'm I'm turning more. I would say more casual, but I don't think that's the right word for it. I'm just playing a lot less and getting to indulge in other aspects of the game. I've been leveling my Kishmuel's Legion to two, to 6k because I hate myself. Uh, the the Kishmuel is level 260 right now, and it's it's I've been using it to help friends. Uh, but other than that, it's that's that's another topic. In terms of gear upgrades, it, it's really just cubing my WSE and then fixing the 27% and 30% to 30s and 33s. Eventually going for two line crit with stat on the gloves. Uh, the hat I showcased in the overview has a better flame than my current hat and the only reason that it's even it was even shown is because Thunderbreaker's best potential on hat is a minus four second cooldown hat. It's supposedly 2% better than a 30% stat hat, but I have a double prime minus 2 21% stat hat. So I want to do the comparison, and since I have the funds to go for it, I figured I would just, you know, throw Meisters on it in my spare time and do like a pack of black cubes a day on it until I hit. Maybe I'll roll 30% strength and I can do a full, t a real test comparison against the minus 2. And then if it's worse, then I'll just keep for minus four and then test that because I really just want to know the actual statistics behind all this. Because KMS says that minus four is 2% final damage over a 30% strength hat, but, you know, I'm not, I just want to see it for myself. I want to have the raw data, not just some simulations. Uh, Oz is still not done. I opened 30 boxes not too long ago and it got... Absolutely nothing. I didn't even finish Exodia. I think I got a minor upgrade. Yeah, I got a weapon jump D3, but I'm still looking for the weapon jump D4. Because yeah, I got uh, all the other level 4s of the weapon jump. Same thing for level jumps. I have all the level 4s except for the Dex, which is level 2. I have three weapon jump S's. Yeah, the game just hates me. Uh, but, you know, there's always something to complain about, so you try not to dwell on it. I am really ecstatic that my star forcing is quote unquote done. I'm in the hard boss waiting room unless I do decide to go for a Kana treasure. I've been stockpiling the rings, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I say that now, but I'll probably end up doing so. So the biggest upgrades I can probably make besides keeping the WSE are familiars. I only have 80% boss. Uh, I opened like 800 epic familiars that I farmed before the before the changes hit. I didn't farm bogies. I should have, but you know, I didn't. Uh, so I have 80% boss. I've kind of just in the vac pet waiting room because the familiars I want to use are the forbarions, and the map I was farming was really good with vac pet. It wasn't bad at all. But until Vacpet comes back, I or is available for purchase again, I'm going to just slowly level these things up through doing my Cernium dailies. But I'm not going to really s sweat them. I say that now, at least. Uh, badges, there's really just 
the IED ones to gain. I have the 3% attack. We got Moras and Aspera familiars confirmed in the most in one of the most recent Maple streams that just occurred. So I think one of them gives you crit rate and damage, and I don't remember what damage caps at because th attack caps at 3%, but I think damage is either 1 or 3%. So if it's 3%, then I'll swap out one of my crit rate badges for the crit rate and damage, you know? Minor, minor upgrade there. Um, there is not much to do. Uh, I, I'm just praying to God that I can somehow clear Hard Lucid. Hopefully the final damage changes will be here when I need to do the, that liberation quest. I do not plan on doing any of the liberation quests in a party or duo. I... I plan to solo all of them. Hopefully, I'll have the ability to forego using uh, healing familiars too, so I can do V Hilla and Will without having a healing bam for those portions of the liberation quest. Because I feel, I feel they're a massive crutch, and I wanna, I want to learn the mechanics actually, not just hide in a corner and pussy out every week like I do currently. Besides the point, I. I'm surprised I'm still playing in all honesty. I thought the Thunderbolt nerf was really gonna kill my drive to play, but I f I'm already too deep. Sunk cost fallacy. Uh, my hyperstat is optimized for the current uh, event buffs right now, but I would normally have more points in crit rate. Uh, IA is... It's the perfect lines, they're just not perfect values. Like, I can gain 1% damage on the second line, and I can gain 1% crit rate on the third line. The top line's perfect, but I will probably be not Chaos Circling, but Black Circling when those come out to try and perfect the second and third line, and then I will reroll for my top line. I spent all my honor, my compensation honor. Uh, I have 6 mil here, but I spent all of the rest of it on my two Kanas getting uh, item drop rate and trying to go for crit rate on the primary Kana because I kind of want to gear it up since I did run Black Mage on it once. Maybe that'll be something I plan to do or I'll just save for Lara. Not sure. I keep saying I'm going to second main something, but I cannot make up my damn mind. The The Cannoneer is probably just going to be a level 250 meal. It's 244 currently and I haven't touched it in forever. Uh, well, not forever, but I haven't trained it in a while. I was going to get it to 249 and then use an extreme growth potion from the event shop to bump it up to 250. And that'll basically get me to 8.5k legion as well. So that'll be, you know, another five spaces or another four spaces. Wait, five. Yeah, another four spaces on my uh, grid to be taken up for buff duration or something. Uh, currently, I use a Mihail link, and it's level 3, but we don't have the change in GMS where Mihail is 100% uptime, and nor is it auto-buffable, so buff duration is super important to make sure I have that extra leeway, to make sure, like, if I forget to buff it, it is, uh, I don't get knocked around, because I've lost a couple lives in particular Black Mage runs where my, my stance was down and I got punished hard for it. Do not take stance for granted. Really don't. Like, Mihail is such an important link when you get to the endgame bosses. And, like, while you can forego them and everything below Black Mage, because you have to use it in Black Mage, I just recommend you get used to using it as soon as possible. If you're grinding, it's one thing. Because I don't pop my Mihail link when I'm grinding. But if you're doing any bossing, any endgame bossing, I highly recommend just getting used to pressing that key every three-ish minutes or whatever. Uh, other than that, it's, you know, minor stat and attack gains here to be done once Mihail's 100% uptime and I can auto-buff it. Uh, the future Thunderbreaker buffs that are coming aren't, like, they're, they're nice. Like, the, the one for the burst skill is pretty massive. It's, like, 33% stronger on average, I believe, on, like, just the combo attacks, and the final attack is, like, 20% stronger like final damage wise it's 20% stronger if I remember correctly I don't remember the exact numbers but it it makes the skill a lot stronger so I'm hoping it will see that reflected in GMS2 with the attack speed meta now that Thunderbolt's nerfed of course it's this skill is a lot more relevant 
because when Thunderbolt first came out, this skill when this skill first came out and Thunderbolt was unnerfed and we had the exclusive delay, the skill was like barely eight to ten percent of your BA in a forty in a forty second BA. So it was it was basically worth nothing. Now it's like fifteen to twenty percent of a forty second BA. So it's a huge portion. The fact they're buffing it will be really nice, but it's not the delay changes I want. It's just damage buffs, which you know you can't really complain about. They're changing Lightning Elemental, uh, this little buff, this little guy right here, to a toggle skill, which is nice, so free up what you can auto buff. Uh, you'll also be able to auto buff uh, our Shadow Partner, Arc Charger. So the recommended buffs that, the re buffs I would recommend to auto buff once those changes happen are Arc Charger, Mihail, and Weapon Booster, and then you'll have SI to cast manually and lightning elemental will hopefully be a toggle very soon after that change. Uh, I'm trying to think. There is not much else to do. This is kind of just a power creep waiting room, hard boss waiting room now. It like I'm farming occasionally. I'm doing Oz is the big upgrade because I only have a roar too. I've been farming Oz for a while. I have. Uh, let's see if you can see it here. I have over 3 million achievement points. I think I was talking to someone and they looked at how many boxes I had recorded, like the ones I had documented and or video re rec record records of, and they told me I'm probably around the 5 to 6 mil point mark now, if, if what I have is accurate. Uh, so we'll see if they ever release a 5 mil achievement if I have it immediately. Well, well there we'll go. There we go. I'm probably going to start doing 10 boxes a week and just waiting for the Oz changes. I'm going to at least wait till they remove some of the garbage. I don't know how big of an impact it's going to be or if it's going to be noticeable at all, but I mean, every little bit at this point helps tremendously in my mind because I'm in no rush for a roar. Uh, it's not like I need to clear Hard Lucid today. I have a few months. I'm on the Magnus prequest right now. Next month is Lotus, I believe. Till then, it's just going to be clearing Black Mage, Cernium, and Burnium dailies, Hotel Arcs, when it comes out in a few days. So I'll get the new symbol. Uh, I've missed like two days of dailies already, or three days if you count release day. So I'm a f few days behind, but like I'm not really sweating it anymore. Like I used to have a huge, I used to be affected hugely by FOMO, fear of missing out, but it's died down a bit. Which is good. I don't know if that's growth as a person or just because my addiction is dying finally. Who knows? Uh, we'll take it in stride though. I still really enjoy the game. Don't get me wrong. I still down. Thunderbreaker's still down bad. Don't also don't get me wrong. Uh, but I love the game. Unfortunately, for better or for worse. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm rambling at this point. There's just you know, small cubing things to do. WSC is the big thing. Big of the cubing things, but at most I'll gain like 5% five, 5 final damage, which is a lot at my point. But I think it's like 5 to 8% five to final damage, which is a lot, but that requires perfect lines. The stat gain is whatever. It'll, you know, more flex, I guess. But, you know, with hotel ar arcs, with the sacred symbols out, like being 56k stat isn't as nearly as big of a flex. Uh... What else? <laughs> familiars are the big thing because I don't have 90% boss from there. I'm going to be going for unique familiars. Hopefully I'll get like, you know, at least 140% boss familiar so I can replace the 30% and, you know, be be done with it. Uh, the 30% with healing on it and then just, and that's what I'll use for uh, bossing. Unless I'm doing a party boss that where they want healing fams. Of... Uh, I think that's it. I'm just going to start prepping for Lara. Hopefully I really like it. Uh, I love summon farming in general. My mech is 250 for a reason, not just because it made insane rates back then, but because the farming on it was so relaxing. Uh, Kana is, you know, doing Kana things. It's 257. Kishmiel's 260. Going to get 6k Legion on the Kishmiel and then decide where to go from there. 
And that's about it. Uh, hopefully we'll have a more structured progression redux video out for you guys soon. Because I have a load of clips that need to be dumped. <laughs> but until then, I'll see you gamers later. Bye-bye.